she knew she could go to jail and stuff for like helping with this project, but because she didn't, like they don't really suspect her. Because if she did, and they're just like, oh, whatever, like if they like let her off the hook, the mom or madame would still get her in trouble. So I... she's trying to save herself both ways. So wait, Walkman did get arrested? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's under, like, questioning or something. Like, he didn't get, like, arrested, yeah, arrested, but, but, like, they're sure but, he did it. Here on page 74, sorry, it's a little off what you guys are talking about, but I just wanted to point it out. Um, when it's like they were gone, Madame stared blankly at the empty doorway. Ma'am, I asked. Ma'am, I asked. Her eyes turned to me, and then she blinked, as if suddenly realized who I was and where she stood. Don't, and then she was like, don't just stand there, girl. These linens need to be washed. I don't think how you could miss them. I shall speak about her laziness, and then she fainted. So, what I noticed there is when her husband, like, left, or was in a way, she was sort of in this whole, like, what just happened, like... Yeah, she was in shock, because she didn't realize they'd find the false bottom. But, like, also, notice how, like, I think her, sort of, like, how I imagine her saying that is sort of like, don't just stand there, girl, like... And it said she realized who I was. So I think she sort of realized that she was a slave. She had feelings. It was more of like a whole connection moment. It was like, oh, so this is what it feels like to lose someone. Or this is what it feels like. But then why would she, if she knew how she felt, why would she say these linens need to be washed? Because she was in shock and she She didn't realize what was happening. She couldn't really talk about it. She was just like, oh my god, like... And then she was realizing, but then she couldn't be like, I'm sorry, or blah, blah, blah. That would be stupid. <laughs> um, so then she's like, don't just stand there. These things need to be washed. Okay, guys, uh, where else does this happen? So, like, which part are we talking about? David's part or Julia's part? Where else does what happen? Well, like, if we're talking about the part Julia said... Yeah, Julia. Because that's what we're talking doesn't about. doesn't say what happens... That happens around the world. Like, for example, if someone no, sees... No, where else does, like, people trying to protect themselves happen? Like, like they, they, they'll they hide something from someone to, because they know they'll get in trouble for it. Well, for example, if, like, I watched this movie, forgot what it's called, but it's about murder, and then the person saw the murder, but they didn't say anything because they thought that if they said something, the murder would go after them, so they just kept quiet. To save themselves, just like she did in the book. So Anyone? what do we learn? Oh. Wait, do you have a connection? Sorry. It's more or less a connection, more as like a view on this. I guess sort of this, despite what you think, not in this scenario, like where someone dies or gets arrested, but often, 10 points, um, oftentimes this does happen. Again, not for the scenario, but people do protect themselves and they do like hide stuff or lie or just refuse to say some just for like their own protection. Like this could happen with bullying, like when a bully does something and you're just not saying anything even though it could get you out of trouble. So yeah, that's my sort of view on it. Can you think of you have anything to say? Okay. Uh what do we learn? Oh. Okay. I, I'm trying not to talk a lot. Wait. Go last. Um, we were... I think we learned that people are selfish and they'll do anything to save themselves. <laughs> that was what I was That's saying. Really, yeah. That's, that's what I was about to say. I agree that's with kind that. of blunt, don't you think? <laughs> well, I do you have an, a nicer way of saying it? Exactly. I like, like, ever. Why should I explain you this? But people said they take a bullet for you. I, they don't really mean it. Like they'd rather save themselves. Well, well save someone else. How about? Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll no, keep the bullet for you. Can, 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 I, can I talk? Can I'll shoot them back. So, okay. So, boy, what you're saying is that I'll take a bullet for you, but you really don't think that they mean it. It's like an exaggeration. Then, it's just like, but, you know what? I'd take like a stick for you, but I wouldn't take a bullet for you. Can, can I talk? Please. Thank you. Okay. No. Well. I kind of disagree what you said, cause people like family members could, you know, actually maybe do that. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, they would, but I don't think they'd really want to die. Just Obviously, no one wants to die, but then you know what? I think I'm it's, pretty sure. I think the, the bullet question thing is, it goes like this, <laughs> oh my like. God.
bitch. I'm sorry, just take this for a second. Really? I think the bullet scenario goes more like this. Like, um, I think it, it'd be better if it went like, I'd let you take the bullet because like, why would you want to live the rest of your life being sad that I died for you and then feeling guilty your whole entire life? So really, I'm not, I'm not dying because I want to help you. Exactly, that's <laughs> how I see it. Because They're like dying because they don't want to feel guilty. Yeah. No, because, like, okay, let's say, let's say you and David were, like, best friends, and he was about to get shot, but you, like, got, like... Yeah, have. No, but, like, you walked in, <laughs> you got in front of the bullet. Then he'd lived live the rest of his life feeling sad and, like, guilty that he di you died for him, and then he might, like, kill himself eventually. Suicide? I've never feel like Okay, guys, let's summarize everything now. <laughs> No, no can, can we agree that that's what we learned, that people are selfish? Well, that, and that they're self in I kind of disagree because family members, because family members, I Even then, that. I wouldn't take a bullet for anyone in my family. Well, I think it depends on the person, though, you know? Would, well, yeah, but in but like, most cases, people are mostly selfish. Well, we're not talking about like those rare people that are like... Not everyone's the same. Like not, not uh, yeah. obviously not everyone I guess would do everyone's, this. Like it depends on a person, but how much still, they care like, to you. We're speaking a little more generally here, where it's like you don't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little more general here, where we're talking about how generally, honestly, would you like jump? Would you personally like? I see you're about to get shot. Like, in that yeah. book we were talking about, Merchant of the Venice, we talked about how Bassanio would give an anything for his wife, right? But then we learned that yeah, he was just he, saying that. Yeah, because he cares more for his friends. But people Selfish these days answer. don't usually do that. Depends on a person, though. Can we, leave, can we disagree that, in general, people are selfish? Okay. David gets nothing.